So what is it? Culpit's oscillator. Here is the circuit design of Culpit's oscillator. So you got a transistor here and you got resistors in parallel and capacitors in series and an inductor here. So the circuit diagram of Colpit is shown here. The resistance R1, R2 and RE provides the sufficient bias for the circuit. The frequency determining network in the parallel resonance circuit consisting of the capacitor C1 and C2 and the inductor L. The junction of C1 and C2 is earth. The function of the capacitor C4 is to block the direct current and provide an AC path from the collector to the tank circuit. The voltage developed across the C1 provides the positive feedback for the sustained oscillation. Here is the working principle. When the collector supply voltage in switched on, a transient current is produced in the tank circuit. And a damped harmonic oscillations are produced. The oscillations across C1 are applied to the base emitter junction and appear in the amplified form in the collector circuit. This is your emitter, base emitter and this is collector. If terminal 1 is a positive potential with respect to terminal 3 at any instant, then terminal 2 will be a negative potential with respect to 3 since 3 is grounded. Hence points 1 and 2 are 180 degree out of phase. The amplifier produces a phase shift of 180 degree, thus a total shift of 360 degree is happening. In other words, the energy supplied to the tank circuit is in phase with the oscillation. And if A beta is equal to 1, oscillations are sustained in the circuit. The frequency of the oscillation is given by F is equal to 1 by 2 pi into root of LC where C is equal to C1 plus C2 divided by C1 into C2.